We're about to tour one of the most expensive hotel rooms in London. This hotel room is over £1,500 a night. So a week's stay here is going to cost you over £10,000. It features two bathrooms, two reception rooms, an insane spa, views over Hyde Park, and your own butler who will do literally anything, including shining your shoes and running you a nice warm bath. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to MTV Cribs the high-end edition. Today we are at the Lanesborough Hotel in London and we're about to have a look at our hotel room which is over £1,000 a night. This is the key to the apartment. If you want to come a bit closer, you can see the key is like an electronic key. It's going inside of here. As we open it up, we start with this entrance hall area. We've got some switches here that control all of the lights, the lobby lights, we can put, make our room, we can call the butler, we can say we want privacy, all of that sort of stuff. Let's talk about the butler, which is something that sets this place apart from normal hotels. There are several buttons on the wall and buttons on the iPads to call your personal butler. When you press it, usually within a few minutes, someone appears at your door. They can do pretty much anything. They set up breakfast for you, they can pack your bags and unpack your bags, they shine your shoes, and they even run a nice bath with some rose petals in it. How romantic. And let's move on into this next room. This next room, which I've never actually been in before, so I don't actually know what it is, but we'll find out together. It's like, oh, it's a bathroom. It's, it's, so this is a bathroom. A bit of a wardrobe. So enough space to actually get inside the wardrobe. see another reception room with loads of seats. This is an apartment for two people and there's like four seats in this room. We've got a lovely little sofa here that we can sit down on, a cup of coffee that we ordered up to the room earlier, a lovely cake in a little box, some biscuits and then we've got a desk in case anyone fancied paying a thousand pounds a night to work with an iPad on which you can call the butler. You can see Sam with a beautiful wedding dress in the background of the video. Okay. So over here we've got a bar. Oh, so there's like just mini bar stuff inside. Night lights up really nicely with some lanes with themed water. On this side of the room, as we take you through. As we pass this window, let's not forget about where we are. As central as you can be in central London. These trees behind are literally Hyde Park. And at the bottom of this window is Hyde Park Corner Tube Station. So the location is absolutely unreal. Let's pretend that was closed. On this side of the room, we've got the bedroom. Join me in this room, you can see that every room's got a little control panel here where you can control the room light, you can call the butler, you can do all of that sort of stuff. And then this is the main bedroom, which has got two bedside tables, both of which have iPads, which control all of the lights, which you can open and close the curtains with. And we've obviously got this lovely curtain hanging over the bed. So generally a really nice room. It's quite a big room. There's another seat in case Someone fancied sitting here and watching whatever was going on in the bed. I don't know what happens in these fancy hotels, but maybe that's the thing that people like to do. We've got all of our luggage that's been taken up to the room earlier. We've got a uh, beautiful picture here that I can uh, tell you about. So this is the ship that actually, funnily enough, our ancestors came uh, from Africa to, to England, actually on this very ship here. So. That's a fun fact for you. While I was making jokes about this painting, something really strange happened. I found a TV remote and then I thought, there's no TV in the room. We filmed this whole room tour and then we found the coolest part of this room, which is there was a TV remote and I was like, there's no TV in this room. Why is there a TV remote? Until I turned the TV on and then look what happened. This painting is going to lift up and the TV is hidden behind the painting. They've nicely put a picture of my grandmother up here too. So it's nice that 
you know, got some of my family up in the room and featuring that heritage. Let's move on to this other room that I've never been in before. That's another cloak room because I don't know how much clothes one person can have. A brush in case you, need, you bring your horse and you need to give your horse a brush. This uh, shoe horn, which looks a bit like a wand and also has a small hand on the end of it. Slippers, a hairdryer and some towels. Let's move on to the next room. Before we move to the last room, let's talk hotel amenities. This hotel has elegant rooms for afternoon tea, a late night bar with a whole room just for cigars, and one of the most insane spas that you've ever seen. It's got all of the toilet amenities that you could need, including hair gels, deodorants, shaving stuff, a sauna, a steam room, a sauna steam crossover sort of thing, an experienced shower, and a hydro infinity pool. Finally, guys, move on to the last room of the house. Another bathroom. So we've got two bathrooms in this one apartment in case both of you need to poop at the same time. You can see this lovely marble floor. Same marble that they uh, used for the Taj Mahal. That's not true, I just made that up. Got a bathroom here with a, a little bidet opposite it. Over here you can see the bath. Lovely stone here. Some big mirrors as well, a bit of mirror there. Mirror here, mirrors everywhere. There's a nice shower in here. And that, guys, pretty much concludes our tour. So if you follow me, I will escort you out. This is what £1,000 gets you in central London. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the manor. We'll see you next time.